I got airborne across the border and everything was going really smoothly until we were over the target and uh, there was an explosion pretty much immediately uh, the aircraft was on fire ejected landed in the desert this was in the early morning and very quickly I was captured by the Iraqi guards and then followed 40 days of uh, of captivity came through to the uh, the end of the war I was released into the hands of the International Red Cross my uncle Tom was lost over France he was a navigator on Lancasters with 61 squadron he was on his fifth operational sortie and they were attacked by a German night fighter over France as they crossed over the North Sea. The ribbon came about because we were aware that uh, whilst all of those who lost their lives serving or supporting the command during the war were listed on the walls, there were a number of other people who'd given great service and passed and there was nowhere to remember them. That ribbon has become a key part of what we do here. We enable that connection. To have that, that stone in the ribbon of remembrance that, that honours your great uncle or your great great grandfather or whoever, that, that's a lovely personal connection. And, and I know that some families have chosen to honour not just their family member, but his crew as well. And, and I just think that's a lovely sentiment. The centre does tend to concentrate on education, um, not just any glorification of the war or, or the heroes that were involved. That is the greatest contribution to the local community that this information is, is readily available. And in doing the stones, uh, obviously I've talked to relatives and friends who have survived. Every story is different. Uh, everyone has a story to tell. It's just grown to become a place of memorial for a lot of people, many of whom who have no connection with the RAF or particularly with Burma Command. It's an opportunity for individuals to, uh, to remember a friend, a relative. It's an appropriate setting that is surrounded by the RAF story and Bomber Command in particular. Many of those remembrance stones are, are those that flew through the war but then when their time comes, um, it's almost them coming home. I'm sure we'd been immensely proud. I mean, he would have been terrifically impressed with what would appear from absolutely nothing. I think he'd be very moved as well.